Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, if this is your first time seeing me this year, then Happy New Year. Uh, if this is the first time seeing me forever, well then, hi, welcome. This is the first end of month video for 2017 and I decided early on in the month that I wanted to change things up a little bit. I have loved doing monthly favourites uh, with you guys every month. So I wanted to do like a monthly wrap up. Start off the video talking about like just the month in review. Then we will go into favourite products because we're all about products. Um, then we'll go into some stuff that didn't work for me this month. Um, and then what will we do? Maybe we'll go into events and talk about some of the events that I got to go to and a little bit of footage from a few events I went to this month. Uh, I hope that you like it. If you do just prefer the favourites like products, then there'll be a marker in the description box below so you can skip through all of the story time stuff and go straight through to the products. So we're a month through 2017 already. Um, things kind of slowed down a little bit around here. Um, so we went on a holiday, we went to beautiful Hamilton Island. It was our first time there. My husband and I are obsessed with the Whit Sundays and we try and go up every couple of years, but we had never been to Hamilton and we loved Hamilton. If you are thinking about somewhere to go up north in Australia, then um, the Whit Sundays and Hamilton Island in particular is wonderful. There are so many more like dining choices available, there's so much more to do there uh, as opposed to some of the other islands. Um, just had a great time and then it was time for us to come back and my husband had to go back to work and then we ended up, um, our flight got cancelled and so we had to stay an extra two days which was horrible. So for the remainder of January, until the very last week of January, I was um, still at home because I was on vacation and I managed to get a lot of blog work done which was great but not as much as I had of hoped because during the last week of January where I had scheduled all this sort of productive time. So I came back from holidays, I wanted a week just to get back into, you know, routine and do the washing and all that sort of stuff and then get back into it. And I kind of did get back into it and then I got really, really sick, like really sick. Um, I ended up getting what I thought was just like a blind pimple sort of thing in my ear, which then got worse. I went to the doctor because I had convinced myself that I got an ear infection and the doctor kind of said, yeah, oh, you know, your canal's closed up, but kind of palmed it off. And then she just gave me some ear drops and um, things went downhill really quickly. So that was like a Monday and then Monday night I didn't improve at all. Tuesday I was horrendous. The Tuesday was the day of the Sephora showcase, which I'll talk to you a little bit more about later. I walked around that showcase and I should have been so excited and chatting to so many people and I could barely hear. I was in a lot of pain. It was just horrendous. It's probably the worst I think I've ever felt. Came home, um, I hadn't eaten that day because I just couldn't move my jaw. So I found some ice cream in the freezer and I just sat there and ate tiny little teaspoons at a time to try and resolve some of the pain. Um, the next morning, so Wednesday morning, I went to the doctor and they were shocked and were very, very worried about what I had. And um, there was talk about me going to hospital, but I managed to talk them out of that. Um, but basically I just had a killer ear infection and it had moved through to my jaw and so basically this whole area here was rock hard and you couldn't touch it and I was crying and screaming and I was saying silly stuff that like I was telling my husband that I want to cut my ear off and I just it was really weird and um, so as a result I had to go on some really strong medication um, so the worst part is having to get antibiotics injected straight into my tush um, for five days straight. Um, also I had to take steroids, uh, they gave me Endone, which is a really, really strong painkiller, ear drops, all sorts of stuff, um, just for something that came out of nowhere. It really knocked me out, really knocked me out. Anyway, but apart from that, it's been a really good month. I have to feel, I have to say after all this whole like ear debacle, it's ridiculous, I know it's only an ear infection, but um, I just feel so grateful. I'm so grateful to be able to eat proper food. I'm so grateful that I had such a nice husband who looked after me. He literally fed me mashed potato for three days. Like it was the worst. I ate jelly ice cream and mashed potatoes for three days. Um, just happy to be back into work, um, both in my career and here on the blog and on YouTube. And it's just really fun to be back and to be connecting with a whole bunch of people again. Okay, so in terms of products that I have loved this month, it kind of is a weird one because the first couple of weeks I actually didn't wear much makeup at all because I was away on holidays and um, I brought makeup with me to wear but I quickly found out I wasn't going to wear any of it. There's one thing that I really really did enjoy while I was away on holidays and that was this from Naturalist. So this is actually in my empties which you'll see a little bit later but this is the Ultra Skin Repair and so it's like a mixture between pawpaw aloe vera, 
and vitamin E and I used this all over my skin while I was away because I did get a lot of sun and I'm someone who um, does burn very easily and while I did wear sunscreen at all times, sometimes it still happens. Um, I used this, I put it in the bathtub when I had um, baths after my days out. Um, I rubbed it all over my body. It was really nice uh, for um, just soothing the skin. Um, just a really, really nice product. This is a brand new packaging from Naturalist and I'm going to have to try and get myself some more of this. This was sent to me just before Christmas actually and so it came into such great uh, use. So as for products I fell in love with this month, um, quite a few of them are new ones and they are um, things that I fell in love with kind of um, in the second two weeks of the month. Um, but there are a few things in here that I actually rediscovered. So one of the things that I did do this month and this video will be up hopefully soon because it was over three hours of footage that I've had to whittle down was my decluttering. And because I did declutter, um, I've just rediscovered all these products that I didn't even know I had. They'd fall into the back of cases, they were in drawers and things were on top of them and things that I'd loved so much throughout the year. I've gone, oh, I forgot I even had this. And there's a couple of those things in this video today. One of the things I did buy this month though, and I really um, enjoy so much, is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation from Maybelline. I always really, really liked the Fit Me Foundation and I always wore 120. I've actually fallen in love with this one. Um, I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing it with just a little bit of powder on top. I did bake under my eyes. But having said that, this makeup, it's now like 10 p.m. and we went out at like 11 o'clock. So um, this is all day makeup, but this has lasted me all day. So um, I'm really, really impressed. It's for normal to oily skin. Um, I have what I would say consider normal combination, but it works perfectly for me. Love would recommend. One of the things that I rediscovered this month was um, Hula by Benefit, and it's just a beautiful bronzer. Um, so I came back a lot tanner than I left. Um, so I did pick up another bottle of Double Wear in a darker shade for me, and I did pick up that Fit Me, but I also made use of a whole bunch of different bronzers. Now, I'm not really a big bronzing fan personally, but I needed it this month just to get me over to look a bit better. <laughs> so I found that um, Benefit Hula is fantastic. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's just a perfect in-betweeny kind of shade. Um, if you don't know what it looks like, um, that's what the shade looks like there. It's just, it's perfect. Um, the next product is a product that I purchased um, just before Christmas. I hauled it on this channel. And um, it's the Makeup Geek Highlighter in the um, shade Midnight Sun. Um, again, I've been wearing this almost non-stop the last two weeks. It's a really nice shade. It's so soft and pretty. The product in the pan is really soft as well. Um, and it just looks really, really nice, um, especially now that I do have a little bit more tan. So it's kind of goldy, kind of champagne-y. It's just a really nice shade. After I decluttered this month, I decided to go out and purchase myself a gift, like any excuse. Um, I decided to purchase myself a gift as a reward and something that I had been coveting for about a year. No, a little bit less than a year. But I picked myself up one of the um, air blushes from Marc Jacobs. Uh, so this is in the shade Kink and Kisses. Um, so there is a darker side and a lighter side depending on where you sort of put your um, brush will depend, um, determine sort of what sort of shade you get. Regardless of what shade, it is beautiful, it is glowy, it is just so pretty. And um, yeah, this is a gift to me, from me, and I've just been obsessed with it the last couple of weeks. Um, I really liked the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipsticks, and I decided to pick up one of the lip contours just to try it out, and I really, really liked it. And I picked it up in the same shade um, in Trophy Wife, and I feel like it's just a really long, long-wearing liner. It is a little bit more waxy than are some of the others on the market at the moment but it does mean that it will not budge at all it just lasts and lasts and lasts another item that i hauled last month is man eater mascara from tarte this one's not in australia at the moment i picked this one up from the tarte website um but this mascara is really um very very volumizing now i have very little natural lashes of my own i do actually i do have lashes but they're not they're pretty straight and short and this one makes me look like i've actually got like decent lashes um they're not like false lash effect but they're definitely like va va boom lashes for me personally uh earlier this month i was really lucky to be sent some of the bare minerals gen nude stuff um so the brand new range of nude lipsticks liners liquid lipsticks all that sort of stuff and there was one in that whole bunch that really just screamed to me and um just i fell in love with instantly it's the one that i'm wearing today and it's one of the um, matte uh, lip creams and it's in the shade Friendship. 
Um, I'm not going to even comment on this because you know what sort of colours I like to wear. It's always these colours. But these are really nice. They have a really nice um, flat applicator. They come out really creamy. They're much, much more like the Tartist lip paints than they are like a Huda Beauty if you've tried any of those. Um, they are not absolutely colour fast. So you are going to get transfer, but they're beautiful and matte. They're non-drying. Um, this one in particular, like I said, this is the shade Friendship. It's just so pretty. They smell so nice as well. So this one here it smells like, um, it's kind of, it's not quite MAC, but it's quite vanilla-y and cupcake-y. Um, so go and check those out. These are out in Mecca soon. Now, they're actually out now. The eyeshadow palette I've used this month more than any other. Um, look, I mean, I'm sorry to even show this to you, but um, because it's virtually impossible to get your hands on it now, but it is just a beautiful palette. If you do see it online somewhere, if you do see someone selling it, uh, pick it up. It's just perfect. There are just so many great neutrals in it, but then you've got these beautiful pops of darker colours down here that make it such a special palette. And then my last fave for this month, when you <laughs> want to swatch this up and you go, oh, that's a surprise. But I hauled this um, last month as well. This was sent to me by Pixie. Um, and it's just the most special eyeliner. Um, so this is just one of their, I think it's Endless, what's it called? Endless Silky Eye Pen. Um, and it's just this pretty shade. I can't read the shade at the moment. I'll have to leave it um, down below. But it, I use it today just in the waterline. But I've also used it smudged just on my finger on the top of my lid. And it's just so pretty. Okay, on to two products this month that I just mm, was not impressed with. Uh, hopefully you saw my Beautylish unboxing, my Lucky Bag unboxing, and didn't think I was too much of a brat in it. I felt like I was a bit bratty. Um, but there was a couple of things in there I wasn't so happy about. Namely, actually, it was just the Jeffree Star palette. Um, the lip product was in there was beautiful. The face palette uh, was from a dis like a discontinued collection. Still a lovely product. I'm liking it, but there was something in there that every single person that I saw um, this video got and everybody got one of the clean apothecary um, brush shampoos and um, While I didn't think it was the most exciting product that you could get in a bag. I thought well, it's something that's handy um, But I found that and I mean look this wasn't a bad product I just felt like compared to the solid beauty blender soap it didn't compare. The scent is just I think a faint rose scent, which is fine um, it just I just had to work so hard. It's just a lot of work and it's a lot thinner than the, no, it's not, it's, it is a lot thinner, but it's actually a lot softer soap. So I find that the Beauty Blender soap is a very hard milled, I think, and you can use it and scrub into it a lot before it starts melting away. Whereas this one started melting away almost immediately and it didn't clean better than the original Beauty Blender one. So um, that's kind of a negative. As for another thing that didn't work for me this month, and also talking about Beauty Blender, and this is this is so shocking to me, like I am, I'm not going to use the word shook, but I'm pretty, yeah. Um, this is a new Beauty Blender that I had in the cupboard, but hasn't been wet, hasn't been used. It's the, I want to say the runway, or the red, uh, red carpet, this is the red carpet edition of the Beauty Blender. And you don't know why yet, but I had to get a new Beauty Blender because something happened to my old ones. You'll see that soon. Um, and so I pulled this one out of the cupboard and it's just not the same. I have no idea what it is. It does not clean as well as the others. It has a slightly different texture. And every time I wash it, more and more red dye comes out of it. Um, so I'm, I'm going to keep using it because Beauty Blender. But um, I'm not, yeah, I'm not happy. I just, it doesn't, I've used, look, I've been using Beauty Blenders for, I want to say about eight, nine years. Honestly, like I've been using them forever. Um, the original ones and I've never been disappointed by them the quality of all the sponges I've never ever ever been disappointed until now and I don't know if it's just maybe one bad one or if it's a batch issue or what it is but I used it the first time and then went to wash it and it wouldn't wash out properly and most of my other beauty blenders are like months and months old and they wash okay so that's a bit of a mystery I don't know what's happening with that All right, I'm sorry this is going to be such a long video, but I want to go through quickly and show you all of the empties from this month. So I already showed you before, I love this product. I used it so much while I was away. Um, I actually hauled like the empty packet back with me so that I could show it to you. I finished another bottle of the Daiso cleanser, and then I was really upset to find that it was the last bottle that I had. <laughs> so I need to go to Daiso and I need to pick up another half a dozen or so. I finished another can of the Chloran dry shampoo. This is the tinted one, I think. Yes, love it. 
will continue to purchase all the time. Um, when I found that I ran out of the other um, Beauty Blender soap, I ended up trying to use the brush cleanser. Don't like it. I've got like three bottles of it in the cupboard. I don't like it. I finished a shower gel. My shower is an interesting place because I get like hair and body products quite often. I will switch out things. So this one's quite an old one. I think I got it like a year ago or so. Um, really nice. Nothing wrong with it. It just didn't get used up very quickly because there were other products. Uh, a micellar water. This one I'm not the greatest fan of. It does sting my eyes a little bit. But um, I managed to use it all. I will not repurchase this. These two were like sitting in my shower half empty for um, a couple of months uh, because I was sent these to review and I did review them. I really, really liked them, but then I was sent some new stuff to review, so I didn't finish it. Um, but I actually really, really like this and I managed to finish it this month. Um, I did finish the conditioner just slightly before I finished the shampoo, um, but I love the scent of these and I actually really like the way this um, leaves my hair feeling. Oh, such a shame. This is like one of the most interesting products. This is from Rituals and it's a um, shower gel, but it's like a... Um, it's like shave foam. So you put a little bit in your hand and then it foams up and it's just, it smells so nice. This one was um, rice milk and cherry blossom. And just, it was so nice. Like I want to buy a big bottle of that. I finished or just about finished. I could probably get one more use out of this product from a van. It's a cleansing milk. I really like that. I used it with my Clarisonic. Um, of course, in the month that was 40 degrees plus, I finished my Urban Decay um, Chill Setting Spray. I don't know if there's all that much difference between this one and the um, All Nighter. Um, I bought this one just to try it out. I don't really see that much difference. I'm just going to continue to buy the All Nighter spray. I uh, brought this with me again away. There's like a little tiny bit in there. That's just a Sephora um, eye makeup remover. Um, and then finally, the Marc Jacobs Coconut Water Primer. I think that's what it's called. Um, really nice product. Really, really liked it. Very, very hydrating. However, it's so exy. I don't know if I'm going to spend that much money on something when there are so many other products that are on the market that are sort of just as good. And then the last thing, this was like in my favourites for like two or three months in a row. This was Scandalize Reloaded. This is the um, tubing mascara. So this is the one that Cara Delevingne um, is the face of and it's just a beautiful, beautiful product. Alright, so on to the last part and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the exciting events that I was able to go to this month. The first one was um, from First Aid Beauty. Now, First Aid Beauty has been in Australia before. I was sure that um, I wasn't just imagining. I did ask the owner of the company or the founder of the company um, about this and she said that it was available previously and I had bought some of the Ultra Repair Cream from David Jones before and I loved it. So it's now going to be stocked in Sephora and they're going to be bringing like the whole line. So those like scrubby pads, the radiance pads, which are like cult favorites, they're coming. Um, there's going to be a primer that's supposed to be amazing. So we went to the hotel there in Watson's Bay um, and we were delighted with breakfast, although I couldn't really eat that much because I was starting to get that pain. And there was some hot boys in um, surf life-saving gear and they were amazing. And um, we just got to learn a lot about that product. So I'm really excited for that because this brand is really interesting. They're kind of, they're going to be stocked with Sephora, like I said, but they're kind of like, their price point's a lot lower than a lot of Sephora skincare. And the packaging is really young and fun and the products are really effective. And I think that people are really going to love this brand. And then the holy mama of events was on um, last week. And that was the Sephora showcase. And that's where some very, very lucky people... I'm getting, I'm getting tired of my own voice. Um, but some very, very lucky people, including myself, I'm so lucky, um, were invited to go and see and preview all of the really fun stuff that's coming out at Sephora in the next six, six months. Um, we saw um, a lot of stuff from Cover FX. So the, the brand new Cover FX um, drops are launching really, really soon. And they are amazing. There is one which is holographic that you may have seen on social media. It looks beautiful. Um, but there was some beautiful stuff from Marc Jacobs. So some new lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. I got one of those to try it as well, and I'll, I'll let you know what I think about that one. Um, what else? It Cosmetics was there. You know I love It Cosmetics, and they launched their new eye cream, which I'm going to start using maybe tonight or tomorrow night. Um, what else? Uh, Kat Von D has added a whole bunch of new shades to her locket foundation. I uh, got one of those. I'm going to try that out. The powder as well. Uh, I'm sure there's something really, really exciting. Tarte. So much good stuff coming from Tarte. I got to look at the um, new highlighting stuff from Becca, so that's really cool as well. There is so much stuff happening in Sephora, guys. It's going to be a massive, massive six 
six months. Um, so that was really exciting as well. Um, so that was in Bondi, in the North Bondi Life Saving Club, and it was just the most stunning day. And if I wasn't a walking zombie, then I would have enjoyed it so much. But um, if any of you saw me that day and um, I was sort of less than impressed to see you or I seemed like a little quiet or whatever, I was very, very sick. So they're the two events that I got to go to this month, so that was fun. Um, now that I'm going back to work, it's going to be a little bit harder for me to go to events because, you know, I do work full time. But I do try and head out to any of the ones that are after work and stuff like that. And I'm always so excited and I feel so lucky to be able to go to these things because I get to meet a lot of um, people. And, and I don't mean like people that are my fans, I mean like just other bloggers and it's really fun I think but 2016 was definitely the year that I made a lot of friends um, and that's not to say that I'm not social in like in other ways but like I um, feel like I just cemented a lot of really cool friendships with different people um, and that's because you do get to go to these events and you see the same faces over and over again and obviously you have things in common so that's really cool um, I'm hoping 2017 is the year that I can put more effort into this sort of stuff and like improve my um, editing skills because they're pretty basic bitch at the moment like um, yeah so I'm gonna finish this video off by letting you know that it is well it has already passed now which is a shame but the blog is now three years old and I was gonna have a really like whiz bang fantastic giveaway for the three year anniversary slash birthday but um, but that's that's coming up in February just for me to say thanks and to give back I suppose um yeah this whole way through the video i'm not sure if you can hear me well i don't know if i'm screaming i don't know if i am whispering because this ear is still not working so i can't hear anything out of this ear at the moment um which is really frustrating but i'm getting away with a lot because like my husband will ask me to do something and i just pretend i don't hear and so it's pretty awesome thank you so much what if you made it through this video like thumbs up to you because it was long all right well um as usual thank you so much for coming along and thank you for coming and spending some time with me in my little corner of the internet no chloe today um she's a little antisocial as well um but i will catch you next time and i would love for you to subscribe see you next time bye